in the hearts of our cities and on our distant country roads. In our buildings and on our street corners, there are stories, stories of our past that have shaped our present and that must be remembered for our future. But all tales of our history link to the places where they happen, places that will now and forever be marked as hallowed ground. This is the story of the 26th District Courtroom and the Williamson County man who took on the KKK. Georgetown, Texas, the heart of Williamson County. North of Austin by just 30 miles, but even further in terms of lifestyle and pace. If you were to visit today, you'd find a square bustling with activity. Clothing, coffee, a statue of three-legged Willie, the Texas revolutionary fighter after which this county was named. And in the middle of it all, the Williamson County Courthouse, built in 1910 with stunning Greek revival architecture and housing the 26th District Courtroom, which has been restored to look just the way it did in the 1920s. You can talk about what happened here and how it affected the lives of people. It's not a story that a lot of people know about, but it did have an impact nationwide. Today, the courtroom sits in near silence, other than an occasional event and weekly tours, which seek to take visitors back to the time when all of America's eyes were fixed on what was happening inside these walls. When an up and coming district attorney named Dan Moody chose to take on the forbidding powers of the Ku Klux Klan. Daniel James Moody was born in 1893, 20 miles east of Georgetown in the booming railroad town of Taylor, Texas. His childhood home is now a museum in his honor. One of two children, Dan's parents, Daniel and Nancy Robertson Moody, exposed young Daniel James to a life of community service and hard work from a very young age. Young Dan delivered milk on his way to school for a local dairy starting when he was nine years old. By the time he was 11, he was actually driving the dairy cart. And that was a pretty big responsibility for an 11-year-old. He graduated when he was 16 from Taylor High School. And so he was determined he was going to be an attorney and go to the University of Texas. He went over and he applied and was turned down. He was too young. He was sent home with great disappointment, went to work for the local power and light company. While Dan was working as an electric lineman, he decided to reapply to the University of Texas. This time, he was accepted, eventually studying at the law school. At the end of the second year, he decided he had had enough education and that he wanted to take the bar exam. Well, there was a fee involved and he didn't have the money. So family history says that he had one valuable possession, a gold watch that his father had given him. He sold that to pay for the bar exam. Unable to find work at a law firm, Dan moved back to Taylor, Texas, where he opened his own law firm from the closet of the Taylor Insurance Company. After he was county attorney for several years, he decided to run for district attorney. As Dan Moody's career began to rise, there was another tide rising in the South that of the Ku Klux Klan. The Klan was big in America. The Ku Klux Klan that you know about, that you heard about, was started by William Simmons in 1950. And he based this social fraternal organization on a book by Tom Dixon, The Klansman. It was a fictional novel about the glorification of the Klan. But a guy named D.W. Griffith was a movie producer, and he bought the rights to that book, and he made a movie out of it. And that movie was called Birth of a Nation. And it was so successful, people joined by the thousands. It was a brilliant advance in terms of movie making, but one of the worst things about it was that it presented a very idealized vision of the Ku Klux Klan. A lot of hysteria and emotional drama had been whipped up during the war. 
And then the war suddenly ended. And where was all this emotion and all this drama going to go now? And the Klan came along and said, we'll give you some new targets to hate. You can hate Jews. You can hate Catholics. You can hate immigrants. You can hate black people. You can be very angry about moral offenders of all kinds. And that's OK. We give you permission to do that because you're now part of an upstanding organization of 100% Americans who are all native-born white Anglo-Saxon Protestants.